Hello YouTube, it's Rob the Tech was here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your Android phone currently running gingerbread uh, look and feel a little bit more like ice cream sandwich if you're like me and you have a phone that hasn't yet gotten the official ice cream sandwich update. Uh, so hopefully be able to hold you over till you get it. Uh, I recently switched, I recently upgraded to this phone, uh, the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket from AT&T uh, from my iPhone 4. So th this is my first Android phone. Uh, and one of the first things I was interested in doing was uh, finding finding a custom launcher that I can use to to really personalize my phone. That was something you obviously couldn't do um, on the iPhone. You're pretty much just stuck with Apple's design, unless you jailbroke it. But that was something I was never really interested in. So uh, I tried out a few of the launchers right away, and I quickly found that uh, Go Launcher X was my favorite. And I also found that it had a pretty pretty accurate ice cream sandwich theme, from what I could tell. So that's what I'm going to show you guys now. Uh, so head on into the Play Market. Um, you're going to want to download seven applications, and I'm going to do it right along with you guys. Uh, the first one is Go Launcher X itself. Whoops. By the Go Launcher Dev team. So go ahead and install that. Uh, the next thing is a plugin for it called Go Launcher X Notifications. Um, that'll give you the little the red notifications uh, in your applications. So go ahead and install that as well. And the next thing is another plugin for the launcher called Go Locker. So go ahead and install that as well. And the next theme is one of two themes. Um, this is the main ice cream sandwich for the launcher. So just search ICS theme and it should be this first one here by Covdev. Install that. <coughs> uh, the next theme is um, the, the the theme for the for the lock screen to make it look like the ice cream sandwich lock screen for Go Locker. So just search whoops Go Locker ICS theme. Uh, I go launcher X, install that. Um, the next thing is called Go Launcher Fonts. Um, we're going to use this to to get the Roboto font um, that Google developed for Ice Cream Sandwich by QB Head. Install that. And finally, the last thing is the ICS keyboard. Um, the one I like to use is the one by Binary Bulge. Um, there, as you can see, there's a couple other ones, but the Binary Bulge, the full version's free, whereas some of the other ones you have to pay a little bit more to get the full version. But um, this one works pretty well, and I actually like it better than any of the stock keyboards that come on this phone. So download that. And now that we've got everything downloaded, um, when you hit the Home key, you're going to be prompted with this. Um, you're going to choose what launcher you want to use um, to go to the home screen. And the main launcher for me is the TouchWiz launcher. Um, but what we're going to do is set the default to the Go launcher. And it, it's going to take a second at first. And the first time you go in, you'll get this little introduction telling you about the widgets and the transitions and themes and whatnot. So here is the standard Go launcher. Um, as you can see, the dock's a little different. Um, you even have multiple docs. You can change how many you want. Two is okay for me. Um, so what we're going to do now is apply the ice cream sandwich theme. So go ahead and hit your menu button and go into themes. And on the sex second page, you should see the ice cream sandwich theme here. So go ahead and apply that. And then right away, it's already looking more like ice cream sandwich. It has the, the same styled icons down here as well as the background. Um, it comes with the with a few other back a few other wallpapers. Um, okay. Um, as you can see here, the one that I like the best is this one here. So I'm gonna set that. Um, then the next thing we're gonna do is install the uh, or apply the plugins for them. So go ahead and hit your menu button and go over to plugins and we'll do notifications first and check all that you want to receive notifications for. I don't have K9 mail or that, so pick all these, hit OK. 
and we'll do that later. You can do it if you want, but I'm not going to do it on camera. Um, so the next thing is we want to apply the Go Locker plugin. So we're going to, again, on the second page, you'll, you should see the ice cream sandwich theme here. Um, and then, just like an ice cream sandwich, you'll see on the lock screen, you, if you swipe to the right, you can unlock it, or to the left, you can go to the camera. The camera is the default, but you can actually change um, what you want to go into there um, by hitting by hitting the theme settings here and changing it in here. I like to use messaging because that's what I use the most, so I'll apply that. And then you can see when you lock the screen, unlock it be prompted with the ice cream sandwich and here you can slide to the right to unlock or to the left for messaging and then you also notice that the clock um, is in the 24-hour format and the date format might, might not be what you're used to so I'm going to change those as well go to whoops go to plugins locker and then in the settings here we scroll down to time and date if you uncheck the 24-hour mark, that'll put it into the 12-hour format. And you can choose which date format you like the best. I like the month, day, then the year. So as you can see, and it's gonna, this will get faster. As you can see, there's a delay from when I lock it and unlock it to go into the thing. Um, that'll just be the first couple times you do it. And every time after that, it'll, it'll be instantaneous, just like your normal lock screen now. As you can see, the date and time have changed to how we like it. So the next thing we're going to do is get the Roboto font. So what you're going to do for that is hit your menu, go into Preferences, and under Visual Settings, and Font. So what we're going to do is scan font next, and this will go ahead and scan all the fonts, scan through all the fonts that we have downloaded including the one that we just got and it'll take a second at first and then we can go into select font and look for Roboto here it is. Um, a little more than halfway down you'll see the Roboto Android 4.0 so we're gonna go ahead and select that and you can see the fonts changed to that um, to the Roboto font that Google developed for ice cream sandwich give it a little bit more of an authentic look and Finally, we're going to change the change to the ice cream sandwich keyboard. So what you're going to do is go into your phone settings, and under language and keyboard, we're going to go ahead and, and, and enable the ice cream sandwich keyboard. And you can even see it has its own settings. You can change. I don't like the vibrate on key press. Um, you can change all these preferences you want. You can change um, how aggressive the auto correction is and I don't know what's in advanced settings yeah you can play around with this and make it how you want and then oops, select your input method and change it to the ice cream sandwich keyboard and then you can see let's go into text message here you have the ice cream sandwich keyboard uh, it works pretty well like I said before I actually like it better than the stock Android or the Samsung keyboards that come with this. Um, there you have it. Um, that's how you, how you make your phone, your gingerbread phone, look a little bit more like Android. Uh, you can get rid of all these if you don't want them. Um, and something else I'll show you too. Um, the folders now work like they do an ice cream sandwich. You just grab it and drag it on top of the other one. And you can choose if you want to add anything else. Uh, and they look like they do an ice cream sandwich. And you can even put them down here in the dock Come on. and there you have it so there you go um, you can play around and customize it more to how you like it um, put your own widgets and everything um, yeah you can change the the um, effects I'll show you this real quick too um, you can change the effects to how it is when you transition between the home screens if you go into the menu and then effects you can change your transitions. You can try out whichever ones you like. Um, I like to use the wave because it, it's pretty simple. As you can see, there's not too not much to it, but that's how I like it. I don't like any of the other fancier ones, but you can try those out and pick which ones you like. 
Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, if you want to see any any examples of different launchers, or if you want me to go over any other Android apps, um, just let me know in the comments below. Thumb thumb up the video if you like it. Um, subscribe. I'll probably be putting um, a lot more Android videos up now that I have one. Um, I'm liking it a lot. So if I find anything else cool, I'll put up a video and let you guys know. Thanks for watching. Bye.